I'm miserable right now, guys. Completely miserable. Can I explain to you why? Daimon's so hard to use. Help me make him simpler. The weird thing is actually, my biggest problem right now is almost every single other character in the game so far that I've utilized, the answer has pretty much universally been, you fucked something up, do it faster. Like, so, let me just, I can just roll through some shit real quick. It's a shame you can't pick an actual team in here and then just have a button that you can utilize to transition between them really quickly instead of having to come back through here every single time you want to change a character. But so, for instance, one of the big things with Luong that I struggled with initially was canceling her knee moves, her quarter circle forward kicks. Well, actually, it's quarter circle forward punches plus light kick. It's really weird. It's actually really, uh, I fuck it up a little, well, it's not really useful, so it's not that big of a deal, but, uh, so, it, this move right here, I call it kicks, just because this is the one that I use the most often, but you actually get two of them with punches, and you don't get anything with this, uh, but you can use that to, wait, oh, that's right, you hold it down, and you press that to cancel, anyway, um, and so, to get the super, like, you have to actually be really quick about it, right, like, okay, cool, that connected, wait, that didn't work, oh, shit, that didn't work, oh, god, that didn't work. You basically have to do the motion before it actually hits to get the super to come out. Like, you have to be mad fast about it. Um, another one was Yori. I'm not going to actually use Yori. I'm gonna... Actually, no, I do want to use Yori because I want to complain about something with him real quick. Um, and so another thing with him was occasionally I would be using light chains where his forward light punch command normal would hit. And then other times they would have been pushed back out of range. So I was thinking, like, why does this keep happening? What is, what's the deal here? Why, why does it work sometimes and why doesn't it? And it's because when I press the when I combo the light buttons together as quickly as possible, they will combo. Damn it. Maybe this is a hitbox thing? Like maybe it only works on certain characters. So maybe that's just so yeah i guess i just have to i'll just i mean it's not like it's a big problem to stick with one um but anyway so the thing i actually wanted to complain about a little bit no well, i actually want to complain about two things i did that too early so that's the first thing there we go that's the second thing that fucking move right there that follow-up requires four count them quadruple quarter circle forward now let me be perfectly honest with you here if you cannot even fit the actual command into the space that you have allotted yourself lessen the amount of inputs you need like seriously there's no reason for that to not be double quarter circle now it's not a particularly difficult thing but it is just kind of like why why there's no reason for it it doesn't need to be that but i mean it, but it's not a difficult thing once you actually learn the proper timing because it's just it's just four quarter circles and you have that entire animation to start them and do them at your own pace but it's still just again it's a why thing but the other thing was uh you saw that super miss <laughs> So if you do the super as fast as possible, if you do the cancel as early as you can, it always whiffs. So if you, but if you delay it a little bit, like by a fraction of a second, it hits. It's just, ah. That's one of my biggest complaints so far in this game. It's kind of a lack of consistency overall, where it's just kind of... You made this you made this cancelable intentionally. So why not make the cancels actually work properly without having to go through some kind of awkwardness? But but Goro Daimon is murdering me. Now I don't think anybody would list this character as high on their turn on their list of characters that require high execution. Now, I have seen some very confusing ones, like, a lot of people are listing Angel as one of the hardest characters to use in the game, and it's like, but she's not hard to use. You just have to memorize her command normals, like, that's it. They're not really command, they're, technically they count as special moves, but they're basically command normals. Once you actually know those chains, like, you know them, it's not difficult to execute them, you just have to actually learn the sequence of buttons, versus 
characters like Daimon, where hit confirms are vital, uh, execution is like really... You have to do a bunch of things in very rapid succession. So like for instance, with this character... I've been fucking... The hey, I didn't fuck it up the first time. Good. So that was a regular normal, a direction plus a normal, a half circle back plus a, plus a button, and then forward plus a button. All in like... How long did that take me? And now we're just not going to get anything. I got it the very first time, of course, and now... I'm never going to get anything again. It's far easier if I just don't add the command normal in there. Like, everything. Everything becomes so much simpler. When the command normal isn't involved. But if I want to look at potential hit confirms... The command normal kind of has to be involved. That's why. It's because the window for it is really awkward. It's actually a huge pain in the ass. You have to, like, delay it a little tiny bit. Oops. It's really awkward. Okay, so... Gotta get that rhythm. The rhythm of the ride! There we go. See, it just required a little bit of practice. It's gonna require a bit more. Jesus Christ, I hate this character. I love this character, but I hate this character. Um, But an another thing that's actually even more useful, so mid-screen, his command grabs. Look at the spacing here. Boom! The fuck am I gonna do off that? Nothing. However, boom. That's safe jump territory. So the problem is, I can't just do that. It doesn't work. Even like, oops. That puts me too far away. However, god damn it. It's even worse. It's even worse. It does work, I promise. Actually, maybe that is a corner-only thing. No, there we go. See, it does work. It's just tight timing. But you have to do quarter circle back into DP. Like, fuck me, man. This character. But that's the far better mid-screen option, because you sacrifice a little bit of damage. I think it's like 28 damage overall. Oh my god. I hate it. I hate it. I already know. It's 253 versus 281. I've done this already. I've tested it. I've gotten the math. I know what I'm talking about. I just can't do it. Help. Send help. There we go, see 253 versus. Oh my god. Why though? Fuck it. Jesus. What? Oh, that's not gonna be the right damage because the stun was in there. Versus 281. Um, and so you're sacrificing a tiny bit of damage, but you get a far better setup. Now, in the corner, obviously. This is the far better uh, move to use. And then, oh man, I love this dude. If I can do it. I love this dude's corner combo. His EX uh, corner combo. I love it to death. But I can't do it. But this is what I'm talking about, about how everything you have to do faster. With Goro, I need to slow everything down. Because the reason why is, the reason why I'm fucking all this up is because I keep trying, so what this is, standing normal, down forward normal, DP move. And so what I keep trying to do is I get into the start of the DP, which is a forward button by the time I hit the heavy button trying to get this. And so because of that, instead of getting that, 
I keep accidentally getting that. And so you can't do heavy button into heavy button. You have to do heavy button down forward heavy button. And I keep trying to do heavy button forward heavy button. That doesn't fucking work. And so that's why I need to slow it down. Fuck. Did I miss a corner? I had to have missed a corner. Yep, right there. Straight down into forward. My execution, fellas. Damn it! I'm about as angry as Daimon is. Wait, that wasn't right, was it? 753? I feel like it should do more than that. I thought it did like 780-ish. Ah, whatever. Fuck it. We did it. I don't know if I fucked something up. I don't think I did. I thought it was around 780, but... It's entirely possible that I just read it incorrectly. But yes, anyway, I mean, this character is just a big aspect is just how, like, nothing is, nothing's safe. Like, so you can actually see what stuff is safe and what isn't by changing it to one guard jump. And so you just press a button and you kind of look, you can kind of eyeball. And in general, you can't tell. So, like, you're not going to be able to see, oh, yeah, that's minus one, that's plus one, that kind of thing. But you can tell, like, okay, this is about neutral. This is very unsafe. This is incredibly safe. And so you look at something like that. About the same. About neutral. About neutral. About neutral. This is a little bit plus because you see Daimon clearly leaves just a little bit before Kyo does. This is not even moderately safe. Not even a little bit. So you can't even cancel it to try and like, you know, it's just, it's, it's all bad. It's all bad. It's all bad. So the reason why that's a problem is that because of that, you can't really conf you like, if you go past this, now every single one of your options is unsafe after that. Every single one. So you kind of just like, you have to kind of rely on this and hope or just do or just confirm his jabs I guess It's not an easy thing to do. And so I actually think jumping is incredibly important for Daimon. Like, basically just jump blowback and then run your mix up off of that. Do another jump after, a short hop into that or something. Do a short hop into that. Well, not that, obviously. Actually, I wonder. Yeah, because the startup on that is slower. Like, I'm pretty sure this is a one frame. I'm fairly certain this is a one frame grab. This is definitely not. This is probably around like five or so. So, that's definitely the safer one to do. But that does 140. This does 172. So, that's not bad. Plus, you can actually super cancel this. Oops. Versus, you can't do that off of. Um... There's nothing you can super cancel off of that. There's nothing you can do. You just gotta. Right? Actually, I'm gonna think of it. It'd be kind of interesting. Nope. That'd be kind of cool, but no. What about this? I don't... I do not understand the point of that move. Not even a little bit. Like, I really... Maybe just, like, for a random side switch, I guess? Can you even... Okay, that does work. Isn't that kind of weird how he goes from grabbing their head into swinging them by the ankle? <laughs> that doesn't make much sense. Got a lot 
of work to do with this character, man. Shit. Oops, that's right. Yeah, it blows my mind that that just doesn't work. What does work that makes me happy? Don't jump on this character. Just do not jump on this character. I did 336, 338, whatever the fuck that says. Might have been late. Nope. <laughs> That's about half your life for a single random jump in. And could you imagine, like, this thing, too? So you get even more off of that. If you can manage to land it. Oops, I hit the wrong buttons. But yeah, that's 277 alone. Can you actually? Nah, you can't. That'd be kind of amazing. So that's not quite as amazing as I thought. That's gonna break 500. Damn. For two meters. Some devastating stuff, man. Can you actually do that off of... Hang on, let me... Okay. Frame trap ahoy. So that might actually work. Doing like... If you can get that to work, that's a lot of damage to eat right there. Fuck, I missed it. Oh, well, whatever. So that does 655? Yeah, that's a 5. So that does 655. So that would either hit 800 or be very close to 800 off of a counter hit. Goro's, I mean, Goro's a really, really good character. There's no getting around that. It's just actually using him and using him properly, not just relying on people's fear of grapplers or not understanding grapplers and actually playing solidly against another solid player. I think he's one of the most demanding characters in the game, and that's the biggest thing that really, that I always struggle with is characters that just require, like, pinpoint precision at all times. Like, I can't, I'm not capable of that versus characters like Luong like you can kind of stage select you got some leniency to what you're capable of well a little bit one thing that actually really irritates me in this game that really Luong kind of exemplifies is doing moves when you jump there is an awkward amount of time when you before you can jump it's like right there. I'm trying to jump. Okay, well, that jump came out there. But so, for instance, one of her corner attack. I guess I can just do this. I forgot what it was real quick. Hang on. Damn it. Requires a TK uh, EX version of that. And it's just so hard to get it correctly. Ah. Oops, wrong one. But then you would do the upward. Like, it's the same as her normal juggle. You just do all that after it. Did it too slow. Need to develop that muscle memory. Oops. And you can actually even get, um, in EX mode. You have fuzzies off of that. So, like, if they, let's say they block. Or even if they don't block. That actually combos. Which is incredible. And if they do block, then, obviously, you get a free fuzzy off of it. And that's all. That's an overhead, too, as well. Like, that, the normal ones aren't. So, I can 
show you. Crouching guard. Not an overhead. Overhead. So like, could you imagine just getting hit by that shit? Like, hello. I can't even remember. Did I find a good? I don't think I ever found a good corner confirm or. I mean, I guess. It's not terrible. I wonder if you can do. Hang on. I wonder if you can dash forward into that. Nah, no way. Maybe you could do. Maybe. Because if you could then follow that up into... Like, just follow that up into that, then you would be able to get another one of those into the knee. That wasn't what I wanted. Oops, it would help if I actually had max mode going. Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. What am I trying to do here? That looks like enough time to get a juggle. Oops. Half circle, god damn it. I was way too I waited too long. Forgot the combo real quick. Why do I keep doing that? What did I miss there? I didn't go all the way forward. God damn it. Same thing. Didn't go all the way forward. It's always one or the other. I either don't hit that or I don't hit that. One, two. Ah! Oops. Might have done that slow. Because you actually like just to show you. You can act really soon after landing. Four twenty one damage mid screen for one meter. That is not bad at all. Not bad at all indeed. And it's a lot easier than Goros for some reason. Like you would think this kind of stuff like juggles, a super jump, a super hop TK. Like you would think, oh, that'd be harder than Goro doing down four DP, but no. Goros is harder for me. But actually I think it helps to let him fall down further. I think you get a bit more of a juggle. Well, you also land sooner after hitting him too. So there's a little bit of strictness in the timing there. A little bit. Very small amount. Oops. Oops. I love that. I actually legitimately adore that. How much do you get mid-screen for landing a raw overhead? Damn it. One more time. I'm stubborn. I want to at least get the goddamn TK knee out. I don't know why I'm calling it TK knee. There we go. So yeah, that was my bit. That was the problem was that I wasn't getting, I wasn't doing that fast enough. 
I underestimate the recovery of that. And so I was doing that a bit too late. And so they fall too far. And then that puts them too far down after the TK knee stuff. TK spin kick, etc., etc. So yeah, that's 373 for one meter off of that. And you can... My big problem with this character is actually that, number one, this shit just doesn't work mid-screen, I don't think. Well, actually, no, wait. Hang on. I think, if I remember correctly... What's with this random slowdown? Like, this doesn't work mid-screen. Yeah. But... Oops. This does? Yeah, that works mid-screen. The problem is... Neither one of these work mid-screen. You have to do that so fast. It's actually obnoxious how fast you have to cancel that. Damn it. So that doesn't work, even though her foot goes straight through him. So yeah, like, if you want to cancel off of that, now you can do... You can't just do that raw, and that works. But yeah, it's, an, it's a constant source of irritation. Like, even in the corner, where you would think this would work. Oops. Damn it. We'll just go straight through him. I think I actually can just do yeah, see like that even though again straight through him. It just doesn't work. Now granted, I think you can do... God damn, I suck at using this. I've done every... All my practice was on the other side of the screen. I think that does work. Yeah, so you can cut it short and just not do the knee in there if you really want to use one meter. But the problem is, is that if you want to cancel out further than this, you have to cancel like right there. So you can't even cancel after that. You have to cancel in the third hit, I think. Like, once it hits four, I believe that's it. Like, you're done. Yeah, see, it didn't work there at all. You gotta cancel on three. This is what I hate about uh, this character in general, is that... You can't cancel that second hit. You have to cancel the first hit. You have to, and you see that only does 180 damage. So, the ideal thing to do is actually to cancel that into a Climax. Because that does 180 damage. That's the most damage you're going to get. But then, again, like I mentioned, in the corner... Even that doesn't work. I've never, I don't, I, at least I don't think so. Ooh, okay. You just have to do it faster. Oops. Okay, so that works. Cool. So how much damage do you get off of this? I would say probably almost 700, if not exactly around 700. 744? That's only 4 meters? Some characters can't even get that for 5. That's impressive. That's good to know, actually. I always thought that, was, that wasn't possible. I guess that's why. I just wasn't doing it fast enough. Cool. I, de I just I don't understand why that doesn't work. I really don't. Especially because. Oops. Now he's gonna get stunned. Especially because that does. Like, why would that one? They have the same exact start in animation. So why would one anyway? There's just weird, a bunch of weird combo quirks I really don't like in this game. And I actually, I plan on once I can bother to hook up my Xbox. I actually want to go back and play some King of Fighters 13. I guess I could just use the Steam version. I own that. Um, I want to go back and play some King of Fighters 13 and just, just see the differences in these characters that now I've gotten accustomed to. Because as far as I'm aware, a lot of characters used to actually be able to combo in from their light normals into their heavy normals and get far better hit confirms than they're currently really able to get. Um, the combo system was just a lot more fluid. The juggle system wasn't quite as restricted. There was just a lot more options available in that game. And... 
more options. I never... It feels like a bit of a downgrade in this game, the gameplay from King of Fighters 13. Like, Max Mode is a watered-down version of what Max Mode was in King of Fighters 13. Um, and so it's just... You know, you never want to see a game take a step back, but I can understand why they might do it, because everybody's trying to kind of... I don't necessarily want to use the term dumb down their video game, but they are definitely trying to remove some of the complexity of it. And I, I don't think that's a good thing. Ah, it's hard to say because the vast majority of people that play any fighting game are not going to be the type of people that know what frame traps are, that know what fuzzy guards are, that know all those, you know, all the minute details of all the different things you can do, and they're never going to practice them, they're never going to know them. And so on one hand, like, yeah, sure, a lot of complication is fantastic for a competitive scene for a group of people that are planning on sticking for a game for sticking with a game for years. But is it good for the early lifespan, which is when you're going to draw in new blood? Because if they just get destroyed by a bunch of shit they don't understand, the, again, most of the people are just going to be like, ah, nah, fuck it, never mind, I don't care about this game anymore. And that's not a good thing, so... It's a tough thing, it's a tough aspect to try to reconcile those two opposing sides, I suppose, into one game. I don't know. Anyway, this has gone on for far long enough. I didn't even mean to get into Luong, but I got involved in trying to figure out that mid-screen combo. And now I figured out some other stuff, like I'm really happy, actually, about that I found that that works. I'm very happy about that. Now I just need to solidify the timing. Too low. Why all of a sudden are you not working? There we go. Barely. So yeah, I barely catch them. That's really tight timing. I remember correctly, this doesn't combo, right? Yeah, but the EX version does. Oops. Oh boy, I got a lot of execution work if I want to start playing this game properly. And that's not even really getting into Yori. Like, Yor well, Yori's not that difficult because he doesn't actually have... He doesn't have any crazy just like... I mean, I may as well. I showed you two of my three characters. May as well just finish it off. He doesn't really have any zaniness in max mode because... So in max mode, what is... What are his... He has the command grab, but that his... If he uses command grab mid-combo, it... Well, actually, if he uses command grab at all, it hugely scales the combo. You're going to lose a lot of damage. Um... Rekka in general, outside of the corner, I don't think... Like, actually, even in the corner, I don't think you can combo. Oops. Because I left training mode proper. It reset all the goddamn. Oh boy. I don't know why I struggle so much. Yeah, because that doesn't work. So that basically leaves, like, off of that. You can either... Dude, why is this so hard? Holy shit. That wasn't what I meant to do. Okay, so that doesn't do what I thought it would. But let me see, can you actually... Why is that timing so awkward? Why do I keep doing that? Darn. Part of me was hoping, like, maybe you can use this move as part of the Rekkas. Dude. I really don't understand why they made the cancel window of this stuff so weird. Doesn't look like you can actually follow that up. So yeah, so really, ultimately, in max mode, like, that's kind of it. That's basically your combo right there. Something like that. If you want to cancel into super, you would do, like... 
Oops. Because you actually, you can't even uh, do, like, that. Because it puts him too far away to land the EX Fireball. So, like, I mean, you could do EX Rekka, but you saw, like, his EX Rekka actually isn't very good, and it's actually awkward to use. You can Rekka after that if you want a meterless ender. Gotta develop that muscle memory, man. What is it? Is it... That was right, right? Yeah, 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 okay. Like I said, muscle memory. What the fuck am I doing? Jesus. Something like that. How much damage do you actually get if you just do the level 1 version? Actually, I should test that, shouldn't I? I keep trying to do double quarter circle 4 before I catch myself. That's a bummer. So that does 5... 52. Oh, I don't have enough meter for all that. Oops. Whoops. 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 Ha <laughs> ha, muscle memory. Yes, you actually, it's not good to use both meters there. The problem is, again, I mean, the big thing. How would you do? I don't think it's possible. Because I think even if, you, actually, now that I think about it, I think I tested it. Like, this doesn't even work. Yeah, it doesn't juggle properly. So off of that, you could probably do... So that you do get it properly. Now how much damage do you get off of that? Because that's technically only 2 meters. So yeah, that's worth it. That's better than doing the other combo. Because you get 20 less damage, but you save an entire meter. And then you can potentially climax cancel off of that, which is... Oh, double, sor double quarter circle kicks. I hate these Rekkas. I hate myself. Didn't even try to do the EX version. Didn't even try to max cancel. We got work to do, boys. Seven seventy-two. That's pretty solid. Pretty solid. That's seventy-seven percent health. <laughs> That's like one tiny hit confirmed. Maybe even like a couple stray hits and then death. Oh, it's okay. I just need to work on that the most. It just irritates me that that doesn't work. I'd like this so much more if that actually worked. Also, using that normal. Can you remember? Because it does actually adjust. Not, it's not just 
the direction you jump, so like once you do cross him up, the direction that you want to hold does change. His short hop is so good. Because there are a lot of characters that can't really... If you hit at like the arc of their jump, at the height of their jump, they can't really combo off of it. With him, it's like... You can basically throw this button out damn near instantly and you still combo off of it. Like, that's instant overhead territory. Also, he even has an overhead. Oh, is that does that that might not work mid-screen. How do I keep not doing EX? How was that not EX? Yeah, that might not work mid-screen. Fireball didn't even come out. That is totally not going to work mid-screen. Maybe if I did... Okay, that's definitely not about to work. So what about... That didn't even work? So I guess that is... Hmm... I'm actually not sure what to do about that mid-screen. I guess you just want to go for the meterless version mid-screen then, because... Oops, that's right. Can't even do Rekkas. Dude, what? It's 300 damage off of a mid screen overhead for one meter. Not bad at all. You could probably even do... I guess if you did want to use meter... Oops. Nah, that's way too high. I don't think that'll work. Yeah, there's no... Well, what if you could do... Unless you can cancel it earlier somehow. Not gonna work. So then I guess you could have to do like... That? But I don't, that's not worth the meter, I don't think. I wouldn't think so. Oops. Help if I did the correct motion. Yeah. 
I would say for two meters, if you're not getting at least 500 damage, you're, it's probably not worth it. I mean, unless it'll kill. If it'll kill, go all goddamn in. Because you never know what's going to happen if you leave a character alive. Alright, anyway. I have rambled on, done random shit for far long enough. I'm getting there. I just... Because right now there's a lot of people that they practice one one hit confirm. They practice mashing on one thing into max mode and then doing a max mode combo from there. And that's it. But the thing is, is like, if they know that one combo that can get them anywhere between like 400 to 800 damage, depending on how much meter they're willing to spend, and you're, you know, like barely chipping away at them because you keep dropping, you know, all the multitude of hit confirms that you've learned, but you haven't solidified any of them yet, that kind of thing. Chances are you're going to lose because they have a lot more damage at their disposal off of that one combo. That's that Bruce Lee thing. I, like, whatever, I can't remember verbatim what it was, but it's basically like, I fear the man who's practiced one kick a thousand times more than the man that's practiced a thousand kicks once or something like that. Um... And right now, that's certainly true. The person that has one combo and can hit that one combo consistently, even if that's all they're looking for, if all it takes is one hit, then that's all it takes. And, you know, your multitude of hits that aren't leading anywhere, aren't getting any damage, aren't going to help you. So that was my big problem when I tried to use Goro against people, was that, like, I wasn't hit confirming properly. I wasn't getting damage off of anti-airs. I wasn't uh, landing the crouching heavy punch. Not the crouching heavy punch, but the down forward heavy punch command normal into his anti-air command grab which gets you a ton of damage you can cancel into super all that good stuff um and so you know i need to practice that and i need to solidify it and it's the kind of thing where it's kind of like all right going up over here i'm not actually going to record this but going over here and sitting in survival mode and just grinding away like it's not going to really help you learn how to play the character in neutral because ai doesn't fight intelligently in neutral it's based around button reading um but at the very least, it can put you in different situations where, you know, like you wait for the AI to jump and then you anti-air them and do whatever you have to do off of that anti-air and you solidify that reaction so that now when somebody jumps at you, you don't have to think about it. It just happens. And that's the thing that I need to get to right now. I have all the knowledge in the world. I have everything I need to learn these characters and to master these characters. But it's just experience at this point I need to put in and actually, you know, properly put it to work so and with Goro I feel like that's gonna take a while so even though I actually think Goro would be optimal like I think if I was looking at my best um order Goro might Daimon might actually be last maybe see the problem with that is that I feel like now Daimon less so than other ones like I think he's in a better place than King of Dinosaurs than Clark who else is a grappler in this does Chang qualify as a grappler? I don't think Chang's in a good place in any way, shape, or form. I think that's mostly it, unless you qualify Maximo as a grappler, but I wouldn't. Because his command grab's actually really not that good. Versus, like, Clark and Daimon both have options off of their command grabs. And King of Dinosaurs, obviously. So I'd say those are the three grapplers in the game. I'm trying to look at the rest of the cast just to see, like... I mean, Yori has a command grab, but nobody's gonna call him a grappler. Chang has a command. I, mean, I guess Chang, but he's just, I think, one of the worst characters in the game all around. Ramon, maybe? He's more of a hybrid, though. He's not really. Does he actually have a command grab, or is he all just like grabby moves, but they're all blockable? I'm not actually sure. I don't know that. He looked weird, too. I didn't like that character. But anyway, yeah, got a lot of work to do, and eventually I'll get there, and eventually I'll start playing, and hopefully the online hasn't just dispersed entirely by the time I get there. So, thank you for watching all of this nonsense. I promise I'm working towards matches as soon as possible. So, until then, peace!